These are seven painful truths I learned as a solo rec player in NBA 2K23. You'll progress a lot faster if you learn them early on, or maybe you'll realize solo rec just might not be the thing for you. Now, picture this. You're sitting wide open. I'm talking about butt naked in the corner. Meanwhile, at the top of the key is your point guard, and he's currently setting a screen for the 3 and D small forward who's dribbling the rock, also at the top of the key, with hopefully at least a 70 ball control, but I don't know. And your power forward is chasing around after the point guard, trying to set him an off ball screen and this whole time your center has been posting up directly in the middle of the paint and is about to get three seconds called on him if the small forward doesn't get it ripped and that my friends is the first painful truth about solo rec this is how your average possession is gonna go when you're running solo with randoms they're called randoms for a reason and that's because they do the most random of things a lot of the times it's just not going to make sense to you there's not going to be a method to their madness and like my man alfred said some men just want to watch the world burn I don't think truer words have been uttered when it comes to some of these trash low IQ randoms. And honestly, you're just gonna have to play through it, thug it out, and hope your next game, you get matched up with a better set of randoms. The next painful truth about running solo rec in NBA 2K is that most randoms you run with are gonna fall into one of these bad habit categories. Don't believe me? Ask around. You got the point guard who shoots every single shot, or you get the opposite, where dude is completely afraid to shoot and will pass up even a wide open layup. For some reason, rarely is there any type of in-between when it comes to point guard play in the rec. Then you got your shooting guard and small forwards, or really your wing players who don't have the ball in their hand at the current moment. But when they do finally do get the rock, they're gonna shoot it. On defense, they're constantly overhelping and out of position because of a bad steal attempt and leaving their man wide open for a three. Power forward, he's setting off ball screens for everyone and the mother. You get an off ball, you get an off ball, he gets an off ball. Center posting his mans up in the paint, he's getting an off ball too. Or your power forward will fall into that wing category and go shot crazy when they get their turn with the rock. And then you got your center who is only here to clog the paint on offense or trying to post up his mans but the thing is he has no post moves and when he does get the rock all he does is just hit x and blames 2k and let's not forget his forte he completely gets dominated on the boards and that's the truth of the matter most if not all randoms that you play with will have some form of one or multiple of these types of bad habits and i'm not even gonna lie when i play point guard i'm definitely guilty of being the overpasser passes up wide open layups and now that i'm playing shooting guard definitely looking for my shot when i get that rock but still best believe my defense is immaculate don't get it twisted now so now that we have established that you're most of the time going to have suspect teammates and that's being nice about it most randoms are trash and it's because of that that we should probably get this out of the way but if you have haven't realized it already by now you're not coming off for 100 points or nothing crazy like that while yes this is my career it's not my career if you feel me remember you're playing with four other real life people who's also trying to get their own and enjoy their time playing a game that we all paid good money to play and like we just established most randoms do random ish in this game anyways so you already know ain't no random trying to sit around for 30 minutes while you or i treat this like we're playing against the ai and that's if you're the point guard if you're playing off ball you're lucky if you even get four shot attempts pretty much i say all of that to say this taper your expectations when it comes to running with randoms you definitely will have some games where you come off and there's going to be some games where you're completely iced out if you can't live with being iced just dashboard but make sure you block them first moving on to the next painful truth and that's going to be about your build when it comes to solo rec you have got to have some type of respectable defense on your build remember you ain't got no squad to hide behind no dedicated lock to take your mans when he's killing you and no zone for you to chill out in the corner so you're going to be expected to guard your man and to do it at a service level and for some reason let you not heed to this painful truth and watch as you will start to see the ball a whole lot less on offense because your teammates ain't about to be out here rewarding you for getting dropped off and that leads us right into this next painful truth on a long enough timeline everyone's gonna get dropped off it's inevitable you or i are not the best 2k players and even if we want to think that we are we're gonna have bad games shit happens it's pretty much what i'm trying to say and in those situations the only thing you can do is try to thug it out and hopefully learn something from the dropping off and using this time to get better defensively figure out a way to stop the one or two moves that's been killing you all game so that next time you face off against someone who is out here trying to come up off the same moves you'll have an idea of how to stop it if you're getting dropped off your teammates will lose confidence in your game and and they're gonna stop passing you the ball on offense and start helping off of their mans and at that point it's pretty much ggs because everyone's going completely rogue so ideally try not to get dropped off you know moving on to the next painful truth about wrecking solo and that is you will be highly highly frustrated a lot of the time even in wins you will still find yourself stressed and frustrated because it probably should not have even been as close of a win as it was i mean just off the strength of what we have gone over already you can kind of get an idea of the madness that is solo wreck my advice 
else. Go into it with a chill mindset. We all know what we're getting ourselves into by stepping through those rec center doors solo. So just try to make the best out of a bad situation if you do get some trash randoms. And remember, if it does get too crazy for you, just dashboard out of the game. But remember to block them randos first so you ain't never got to come in contact with them again. And honestly, the seventh painful truth that you will realize when it comes to solo rec is that the best way to go about getting to level 40 as a pure solo artist in this game is to just make a 7-3 inside big. Go out there, grab all the offensive boards off of your random teammates' crazy misses, and just throw them back up. Because as a 7-3, you're almost guaranteed an A-plus teammate grade every time. Whatever you do, try not to be like that center we spoke about earlier who just camps out in the paint with his hands up collecting three in the keys. And most of all, just try to have fun. At the end of the day, it's a game that we all paid a lot of money to play, 60 to 70 bucks on just the base game alone. And you already know it's 100 bucks for a max build. How many max builds you got? I got three. So if solo rec just ain't doing it for you, try and find a squad. Hey, drop your gamer tag down in the comment section below. Let's run it up. But till the next time we speak, luck out. Peace.